Get ready to transform your PC experience. In this video, I've got 10 useful apps that will save you time, boost performance, and make your tech life smoother than ever. I'm Mobin, and this is my channel where I share useful softwares, AI tools, and websites to make your life easier and more creative. These apps are about to become your new digital best friends. Let's dive in. So at number one, we have Sparkle. Sparkle is an open source system optimization tool for Windows 11 that helps you improve performance by removing bloatware, unnecessary apps, and temporary files. It offers system tweaks, a built-in app installer powered by Winget, DNS changer, system information panel, and safety features including restore points to undo changes if needed. After opening it up, it takes a little time to load your system data and info. As you can see here, I've got my information on CPU, GPU, RAM, Microsoft Office version, disk, and also tweaks. So about tweaks. Tweaks are the tools to customize and optimize your system. So let's see what they have. There are lots of tweaks here, and the first main one is the deep load windows option, which removes unnecessary applications. Other options include the performance power plan and aligning the taskbar to the left. So you can see that there are also some UI customizations available. You can order tweaks by general, performance, privacy, gaming, productivity, network, and GPU. If I click on gaming, these tweaks are available and I can toggle them on or off to get better gaming performance. Next to that, there is a cleaner. If your PC is running out of storage, you can clean up temporary files, prefetch files, empty your recycle bin, and clean the Windows Updates cache. Since Sparkle is in beta and may not be fully tested for all features, you have access to your restore points before any tweaks are applied. It will create a restore point so that if anything happens to your PC, you can restore it and use it as normal. Then we have utilities. Almost anything you can do with the new Windows system is here. You can run checkups like file checker, restore disk, show power plan, reset TCP IP stack, which was received by type stack, reset Winsock, flush your DNS cache, and run disk cleanup. You also get quick access to registry edit, task manager, disk cleanup, display settings, system information, device manager, so almost anything is here. Finally, in the app section, you can remove applications installed on your PC. So it's like almost an installer app too. But I tested the uninstaller and it didn't work great. Maybe because it's still in beta. So you give your Windows machine a new lease on life. Sparkle is your all-in-one performance revival kit. Next is Spanso. Spanso is a cross-platform open-source text spander that helps you save time by creating shortcuts for frequently used text, emojis, and other content. It works system-wide and allows you to transform short triggers into longer text snippets automatically. After installing, the application will open and you'll have access to the tray icon. If you want to add your variables yourself, just right-click, then open config folder, and open match, which is a base.yml file, so you can open it with whatever text editor you have. Now you can add any other variables you want. The simplest thing you can do is something like this. You'll need a trigger and a replacement. So I'll copy these two lines as a sample and paste them here. Now I change the trigger to mobin and replace it with tech with mobin or my channel link. Now I can write colon mobin anywhere to paste my channel URL or name. If you want to know more about how this application works, make sure to read the documentation and customize it however you like. You can also use images, but before doing that, you'll need to install a package by writing a specific command in CMD. Once that's done, as you can see, I'm pasting emojis too. So you can stop typing the same things twice. Spanso turns your keyboard into a productivity powerhouse. At number 3 we have Canary. If you are busy with work and life, you might forget some tasks or not have a proper plan to do them in order. So Canary is here to help you. 
you can easily create new boards, columns, and cards for each task you do daily. After opening the application, you'll see the main page. You can create a new board by clicking on this icon. And if you already have data you want to import or re-export, you can do that here. Since we're using this application for the first time, I'll click on create new board. It will ask you for a name. I'll type something like work. Then it asks if you want to create example columns and cards. Turn this option on so you'll understand how the app works. You can always edit or delete them later. If you already know how to use a Kanban board, you can add or remove columns manually. Once that's done, create your board. Now the board is ready. Click on it to start editing. Here you'll see the example columns like to do where you can add your task, doing for tasks that are in progress and done for completed tasks. You can add or remove items in each column so that by the end of the day, all your tasks are organized. You can also change the background by clicking this button and edit tags as needed. As a task manager, you may want to sync it with your phone or other devices. Click on this two arrow icon and you can import data from this app, Trello, GitHub projects or Kanban Electron and also export your boards. Currently, this application is in beta. So if you want online sync, I should mention that this functionality is planned, but the progress may be slow. So it's your choice, you can use Trello with limited features, but with sync feature. So that's Canary, a simple offline task management app. At number four, we have Gopid. Gopid is a modern open source download manager that supports HTTP, BitTorrent, and magnet links. Built without Electron, it's available across multiple platforms, including Windows, Linux, macOS, Android, iOS, and Docker. It features a clean material design interface with dark mode support. After installing Gopid, you'll see a page where you can access files that are downloading and files that are already downloaded. By clicking on this plus icon, you can create a new task from a file link or a torrent file. Then rename it, set how many connections you need and change the directory. You also get advanced options like setting a proxy, adding HTTP headers, or adding trackers for BitTorrent. There's even an option for direct downloads. Gopit also supports community extensions, so if you know JavaScript and want something specifically for a website, you can write an extension and share it on GitHub. For example, there's an extension for YouTube, plus samples for developers and other sites. Speaking of extensions, I think every download manager should have a browser extension and Gopit does. You get extensions for Chrome, Edge and Firefox. With them, you can download any links that pops up or even sniff sources like video playing in your browser, which is really handy. As you can see, by clicking on any download link, Gopit will create a new task and let you confirm before starting the download. Download smarter and not harder. At number five, we have Thorium Browser. Thorium is a Chromium-based browser optimized for speed and privacy. It features compiler optimization that can provide up to 38% better performance than standard Chromium. Privacy enhancements include do not track enabled by default, disabled Google notifications, and support for features like FTP URLs and JPEG XL images. It's available for Linux, Windows, macOS, Raspberry Pi, and Android with special builds for CPUs without AVX support. At number six, we have browsers. Speaking of browsers, now that there's a browser for almost any use case and situation, you may need to have multiple browsers like one for work and another for personal use. That's where browser software comes in. Browsers is a utility application that solves the problem of managing multiple web browsers. When set as your default browser, it presents a selection menu each time you click on a link, allowing you to choose which browser to open it with. If you hold shift while clicking, it opens the link in private mode. This didn't work for Brave in my test, but it worked fine for Chrome. Just download your platforms package and set browsers as your default browser 
Now you can use browsers easily. Browsers is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Take control of your browsing experience. Browsers put the right browser at your fingertip instantly. At number seven, we have Journal++. Journal++ is a cross-platform open source application for handwritten notes, sketching, and PDF annotation. It offers extensive customization options, including toolbar layouts, color palettes, and Lua scripting plugins. It supports exporting to various formats like PDF, SVG, and PNG. So after installing and opening the program, you'll get that nostalgic feeling of old notebooks. But now with all the annotation tools, you need to start writing and creating. To begin, click on pencil icon and choose a color. And it's not just for handwriting, you can also insert images, text, and latex formulas. Get tons of customization too, from toolbar layouts to custom color palettes and even Lua scripting plugins if you want to get fancy. It handles PDF annotation smoothly, letting you highlight, underline, or strike through the text on imported PDFs and export everything in popular formats like PDF, SVG, PNG, or journal project files. Journal++ is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. It will digitalize your creativity seamlessly. Journal++ is the ultimate paper-free notebook. At number 8, we have Kandu. Kandu is an open-source cross-platform productivity tool that uses gesture recognition to help you navigate menus and access applications quickly. It turns your entire screen into an interactive target zone, allowing you to perform actions by moving your mouse in specific directions. And the recent update includes an improved menu editor for better customization. I'll leave the link in the top right corner and in the description. If you want to know all about Kandu, make sure to check it out. At number 9, we have Blazebit. Blazebit is a free open source system cleaner that helps you free up disk space and maintain privacy by removing unnecessary files such as cache, cookies, temporary files, logs, and browser data. It also includes features for securely deleting sensitive information and wiping free disk space. Using Blazebit is super easy. All you need to do is to check the apps or data you want to delete. For example, I selected Opera with all its data sources. Now click the clean button, then click delete and you're done. But it's not just about deleting files. Bleachbeat can shred sensitive data, wipe free disk space to cover your tracks, and even delete Windows temporary files like those from Defender and Explorer. It's lightweight, powerful, and open source. It works on both Windows and Linux and supports cleanups for hundreds of apps. And lastly, at number 10, we have Sharex. Sharex is a free open source screen capture and productivity tool with extensive features. It allows you to capture specific regions, monitors, or windows, create screen recordings and GIFs. And it also helps you to automate workflows for editing, saving, and sharing captures. It supports numerous upload destinations and customizable workflows. Same as can do, I have a dedicated video on Sharex, so if you want to see how it works and all its use cases, feel free to check it out. And that's it for today's video. And that's it for today's list. If you found something useful, drop a like and share it with someone who needs it. More tools, smarter workflows, and tech tricks are on the way. So stay tuned and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section which of these apps you know earlier. And if you find any useful apps or tools, let us know in the comment section.